Okay, this is uh, walking into the main part of the camp. This is the wet bar, the dining table, and the supplies. Good shot, Len. R6 is working, sir. Yeah. <coughs> yes, he took off that cap. Yeah, he took off. Yeah. I saw the dust come off. Len turns to me and says, But I shot him on the shoulder, just like you told me. They run, sir. They run. <laughs> The gun's working. Hey mate, you've wanted a zebra for a while now. Yeah. Now well we're going to Mboga. Three years. This is going to take me. Right, Mr. Lin, what have we got here? This would be uh, the old man of the forest, <laughs> Mr. Lesser Kudu. Yep. Fantastic Lesser Kudu. Um, it's now quarter past seven in the morning. We had a bit of a cloud cover. The forest was very quiet this morning. But uh, we caught this old man out in the open, and uh, Lin made a fantastic shot, and we got our Lesser Kudu. Congratulations, Lynn, that's great. Cool. One more time. <laughs> okay, everybody together. Ready? Okay. One, three. One, two, three. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Oh. Faki, yes. what are you? Yeah. What are you? You Jangili? <laughs> Where are Jangili? Eddie Jangili. I'm in a Kamata Jangili. In a Kamata Jangili. <laughs> I see. Shooting, yeah, you got on video? Yeah, I, I, uh, it was tough holding the, the rifle and the camera at the same time. 
but I use the shooting stick as a prop for the rifle. That freaking monster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, concur. Uh, it's a freaking monster. This is a four and a half hour tracking job by Roca and Andreas. Look at the small neck, boys. Solid neck here, boys. Do you have experience with leopard hunting? Not much. Many, many, many. How many nights would you say you spent in lions? Too many. Too many. <laughs> Right then, give us a breakdown, what happened? Well, we went in uh, the blind last night uh, about four o'clock and uh, stayed till about uh, 9.30. Uh, leopard didn't come in. So we came back, uh, had a quick dinner, cleaned up, and uh, Ryan gave me a wake up call this morning about 3.30. We went back in the blind, I think about what, four o'clock? Yeah, I think we got in the blind about uh, quarter past four. Quarter past four. Uh, 20 minutes, it just uh, quieted down, and uh, the leopard got into a, a rather heated fight with uh, a hyena, at which case the leopard left on the left side of the blind at about 10 yards, and the hyena on the right side at about 10 yards. Uh, then this morning about uh, 5.45, the leopard came back um, for the last supper. <laughs> so uh, right at 6 o'clock, uh, Ryan set the shot up perfectly, and uh, Mr. Leopard's in the salt. Yeah, okay, it was a great shot. We found him underneath the tree. Congratulations, Len. It's a fantastic cat. Right, Len. The Gerenuk, sir. This afternoon we one were... The one and only. 300 yards. 300 yards, that's for sure. We, um, we were, we've we been looking for these buggers for a long time. Went for a long, long walk this morning. Um, basically, we found some this morning, but they took off. This afternoon we came back. We were going around some zebra, trying to get away from the zebra. 
and we saw these guys at about 380 managed to gain 80 yards but they were going into the thicket we saw this big old guy he was last set to land 300 yards plus and about a nine inch drop bang shot went off and he felt dead in his tracks absolutely amazing shot by him congratulations sir have a look at the facial features on this very unique animal here in it primarily a, a, a grazer stands on its back legs grazing it is really unique and really an awesome animal anything to say Mr. Pritchard? Well, I've thought a long time about shooting a girl <laughs> we have completed the safari <laughs> <laughs>